Movie theater. Okay. Do you ever watch movies in here? Mmm, not many. I am feeling ready to watch the documentary now. I have had enough time to digest, and this is going to make her feel good. I'm trying to figure out, how do you turn the lights off? I don't know. Ask me. Oh. Is that it? Yes. Do I look beyond? Diamond, are you ready to watch my movie? I feel like she knows that I'm, I need her. This is Paris Hilton. This is Paris Hilton! <laughs> Hi, stars. I was nicknamed Star. I still have that dress. Always having a camera around. It was just this free spirit. I've not been through any trauma yet. Just so innocent. You look a little bit like uh, your mom. Something happened in my childhood that I've never talked about with anyone. I still have nightmares about it. It's terrifying. You're sitting on a chair, staring at a wall all day long, getting yelled at or hit. I felt like a lot of the people who work there got off on torturing children and seeing them naked. Solitary confinement, like something out of one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Felt like I was going crazy. Someone was in the other room that was like in a straight jacket. I was a provo for 11 months and the only thing that saved my sanity was thinking about what I wanted to do and who I wanted to become when I got out of there. I mean, I'm just, wow. The world that she lived in, it's just, it's very sad. I was alone, I was scared. Here you think that you're doing something and they sell you this whole. Rick and I did hear stories from friends of mine from other schools. Never did we think with all the resources that we, we have that we would have been in a position like that. My parents were in New York. They didn't know. It can happen to anyone. We're all survivors, we're all warriors. And I don't want anyone to ever feel the way we do. It was hard. I'm sorry that you had to go through so much. Obviously now with the internet and people being able to tell their stories, it's different, I but know. I can understand like how you would never in a million years have known just all the things that they were doing to me and everyone there. I totally understand, you know, how you felt, but I hope you know that we only did this to save you. It wasn't just ditching school. I mean, you were uncontrollable. I know. There was just no getting through to you. And when we, when we finally sent you to Utah, we had eight or nine months before you were turning 18. That's all we had. And every time we went to go visit you, it would kill me not to take you home with us. And we'd say to each other, all we have is another three months left. We've got to make her finish this. We've got to know that we've done everything to save her. All we have is this much time, or we'd never forgive ourselves. You would do that for your baby. So I understand that you were just scared. But it was really scary for me, too. I know, honey. But it made me really strong. So I think maybe. It happened for a reason. I just know that me back then would be so proud of me today.